Is it time to replace the filters in your reverse osmosis drinking water system, but you have no idea what to order or where to order it from? Don't know the maker model of your reverse osmosis system? Why are there so many different kinds of filters out there for ROs anyway? Well, in this video, I'm going to sh show you how to figure out exactly what you need and where to get it right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Now, whether you're a first-time do-it-yourselfer, plumber, or water filtration specialist, this video is for you. Sounds so easy, right? You just buy the replacement filters and put them in your reverse osmosis system. The problem is, most reverse osmosis systems don't have a make and a model on them, so you don't know what to look up or where to find them. Not sure about how these reverse osmosis drinking water systems work? No problem. Check out the link in the description below. Basically, there's two types of reverse osmosis drinking water systems. There's proprietary and non-proprietary. The proprietary ones only use their own proprietary reverse osmosis filters, and you have to go back to wherever you got your reverse osmosis system to get those proprietary filters. The non-proprietary ones fit a multitude of different reverse osmosis systems. So not only are there... Um, does, does this one filter fit 50 different kind of reverse osmosis systems, but there's also 30 or 40 different filters of this kind that fit those reverse osmosis systems. So when it comes to investing in a reverse osmosis system, non-proprietary is definitely the, the best way to go because the proprietary filters are much more costly and much more difficult to find. And if that uh, company ever decides to go out of business or to change their design, you're out of luck because now you can no longer get those proprietary filters anymore. So let's look at a couple of examples. So this Goldline 50 reverse osmosis drinking water system uses all non-proprietary filters. As does our Hume Water Saver 75 reverse osmosis uh, system. So the only difference between these two systems is that they use a different post carbon filter, this one up here, and they use a different membrane. But the filter sets for, for the um, Hume Water Saver 75 and the Gold Line 50 uh, use the, the, by far the most popular and the most common set of reverse osmosis uh, filters. So again, if your system looks like either one of those, you're definitely in luck. So let's compare the filters that uh, these two systems use. So first of all, they both use the same sediment filter. They both use the same carbon filter or the same type of carbon filters. But where they differ is the, the post carbon, the filter, the, the skinny filter that's on the top. Okay, so the Gold Line 50 uses this kind of a filter and the um, uh, Hume Water Saver 75 uses this kind. So for the Hume Water Saver 75, it uses, so, the t so it, has, it comes with these little keepers, but, um, but if you push in the collar and pull this out, then what happens is you just immediately connect the tubing to the, the filter. Whereas the one in the, um, here, this is a better example here, the one that is used in the uh, Gold Line 50, as you can see, there's fittings on either end. So because of that, the filter comes with these plugs at the end. And uh, so what you need to do is you need to pry out those plugs and then screw in the fittings. So you're going to remove the fittings from the old filter and add them to the new filter. All right, so let's figure out what you need for your system. So if you've determined um, which kind of a post carbon filter you have, if it's the kind that has the quick connect fittings on the end, then you'll need to know what size those quick connect fittings are. And uh, so. So most common in reverse osmosis systems is that we have these two sizes. This is the 3 8 and this is the quarter of an inch. And uh, how do you know? Well, you can measure them. So literally, you can just take a tape measure, put it across your uh, tubing, and you're measuring the outside diameter. If yours is a quarter of an inch, then this is what you've got, quarter of an inch. If yours is 3 8 of an inch, then that's what you have, 3 8 of an inch. So then you're going to be looking for a, a, a filter that has, um, like again, quarter inch uh, quick connect fittings on the end will plug right in, and that's the right one that you, you should order. By the way, we offer all these filters on our e-commerce store, and I'll put a link uh, down below where you can uh, definitely uh, check them out and you can order them. We offer free shipping. If yours uses quick connect fittings, you may find this uh, YouTube video of mine helpful in terms of how to use those quick connect fittings. And again, I'll put a link in the description down below. Companies like OmniPure 
that manufactured these filters use the code to identify the quick connect uh, fitting size on the end. So this one here is a quarter inch fitting, so again, they use the code J. For the uh, 3 8 inch fitting, it's a K suffix. So for the threaded fittings, again, you're going to have to measure the outside diameter um, across the threads. So again, you can use a tape measure or something similar and run it across and get your measurement there. Now, just because uh, this has a measurement of, let's say, half of an inch, doesn't mean that this is a half inch thread. It's actually a little more difficult than that. So once you've measured the fittings, then you're going to go to a chart like this, and you're going to go to the measured thread uh, column, and, uh, and you're going to find your fitting there. So the fitting that we just measured was just a little bit over half of an inch, and uh, so that tells us that that's a quarter inch thread. So again, this company, OmniPure, identifies theirs with a code. So for the quarter inch threaded ones, it's a B. So any filters that have a B suffix um, have, are uh, set up for the quarter inch threaded fittings. So reverse osmosis membranes are rated by gallons per day. And uh, so when you remove your old reverse osmosis membrane, then you look for a number and be a number like 50, 75 or something like that. And you'll need to replace it with the same gallon per day rating membrane. And again, their physical size can be measured with a tape measure or a ruler to determine exactly which one you need. If you're fortunate enough to have a high efficiency reverse osmosis system like this Hume Water Saver 75, you need to visually identify the replacement reverse osmosis membrane. Still not sure about which reverse osmosis uh, replacement filters you need? No problem. Just email us some pictures at info at watereastore.com and we'll help identify it for you. But make sure you take some pictures of the end of the, the uh, post carbon filter. That's the hardest part to identify. For some more great information about uh, reverse osmosis systems, click over here to check out my next video and I'll see you there.